I was tired of waiting tables and um, I was looking to better my future and better my family and I contacted the school and um, they had an online program so which was perfect because my daughter was not even two at the time and so it worked out perfect being a working mom with little kids I was like oh perfect an online degree and I contacted them and I talked to one of the recruiters and he basically sold me and said oh you want to be a nutritionist or dietitian we have a great nutrition program this is exactly where you want to be this is a great start for you at the time it seemed like my dream was coming true like this was happening I'm moving forward with my life the last year of school I was waiting tables babysitting not sleeping and studying that was all I did right before I was about to graduate I found out from one of my professors that my degree would not be accredited and it would not be a send accredited. I was crushed. I was absolutely crushed. Like I worked so hard for so many years to have my degree mean absolutely nothing. I have a passion for health and nutrition and it, I learned so much but I, I can't do anything with it legally or anything. So when I got a hold of the state, they basically said, well, in your Kaplan handbook, it says the accreditation is necessary, that, I, that, that Kaplan doesn't have it. Well, I don't have a handbook to reference that. With that being said, I wrote a letter, and I was like, well, let's hope for something. I was like, I, I don't know what else to do at this point. I got a letter back. It said that we can't help you you know, once I found all this out and I, my bachelor's degree came, I seriously, I cried for four hours. I'm not a crier, not really. I'm not, I'm a pretty logical person. And I, I sobbed and I cried and I was numb for six months. I worked selling vitamins to try and be in that field somehow. And it got me nowhere. I was so depressed. I'd put on like 15, 20 pounds. I, drank heavily for a short period of time. Um, I was just completely numb from all of it. And I still, I think about it all the time. As of now, I'm like $40,000 in debt, in student loan debt. Kaplan is an expensive school. Um, there was a lot of times I had to take out as much as I possibly could just to make ends meet. So I didn't have to work 40 hours in the restaurant on top of babysitting just to try and put gas in my car. They can't do this to people, especially like me. I'm a good person. If you're going to be, you know, shysty people, don't do this. Don't offer something that you don't have. That You're messing with people's futures and lives. Like, yeah, I never would have came here. I never would have done this if I knew I wasn't going to get anywhere. Why would I? And I did, I put three hard years into this and I can't get that back. How, and like put yourself in my position. I would like to tell whoever runs it, whoever thinks that they're the best person in the world doing this and they're, they go home to their, whatever they go home to, put yourself in my shoes. Put yourself in this, in this situation. How would you feel? Flip the switch on yourself one time. Go sit where that homeless man sits for 12 hours. Go wait tables for 12 hours. See how that makes you feel. Because it's not a good feeling working this hard for, for nothing.